Today's video is brought to you by Kingston, makers of the HyperX brand and some of the fastest SSDs and flash drives in the world. What's going on everybody? It's Friday. I'm sure most of you are like looking at the clock going, when can I get the fuck out of here and go home? But anyways, we're here to brighten your day on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric and today we're going to be talking about Apple's latest Fusion Drive. Now I know there's been a lot of controversy out there and a bunch of talk about this thing saying what exactly is it? Now for the last year or so, we've had Intel's latest Z77 motherboards. They all feature smart response technology, which uses a hard drive and then an SSD as the caching device. So what it does is basically as the more information you access, the SSD spills over into it and makes things faster as you access it. Well, now this technology in the Fusion Drive, it's kind of in the same principle, but it's totally different than that. Four gigabytes of information can be first brought through the SSD before even going to the HDD. And what's totally different is that the SSD is the first drive to be used. Now, traditionally, you go through the hard drive and then to the SSD. With the Fusion Drive, you go from the SSD and then to the HDD. Now, this option is going to be available in both the Mac Mini and the new iMacs that we'll be seeing coming out very soon, hopefully. It's going to be about $250, but let's go in now and let's run a few tests and let's show you why this is actually a very fast option for those people wanting an all-in-one self-contained unit that still has very fast access and transfer speeds. So let's check that out. First off, We'll be testing the new Fusion Drive against the standard 5400 RPM HDD. We'll also be testing it against a full-fledged SSD. This is the built-in one in the 2012 MacBook Pro. So with that said, folks, it's time to rock out with your sock out. Here's the benchmark song. All right, folks, there you have it. Now, obviously, for PC guys and those guys who are going to go out and buy a Mac Pro, this isn't really going to be that big of a deal. But it is showing Apple bringing server-grade technology down to the desktop arena. And all of these things are on units that you're not traditionally going to open up. They're pretty much, you know, you buy them, they are, and you keep going. And you want to get those things as fast as you can. Now, anybody out there who prefers the Mac and using that OS, for that environment, they're not going to give one rat's ass about the small price. 250 bucks for them is not going to mean anything to the cost of not having that type of productivity. So at the end of the day, I got to say, it is very interesting technology. It's taking a twist, turning it around, improving it, and then bringing it on to their products. Now, I have to say, I do believe that Ars Technica summarized this very, very excellently with the way they have it. Picture that you have two glasses and the water's coming out of a fountain. Now the first glass, it receives as much as it can and then the overflow goes into the second glass. But the first glass, being able to take that four gigabytes of information is quite a big glass because you know most users aren't going to be using that type of file size in any case. So it's going to work very, very well. And the way that they summarize it, I do believe gets a hats off from us over here at Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, I hope you folks like this video. If so, show me that by hitting the like button. Also, I ask that you subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss out on any of our giveaways or any of our announcements. Also, many of you people always ask, how can you support the channel? Well, you can support the channel by showing some love to our sponsors at Kingston. Now, these guys make some of the fastest USB 3.0 flash drives on the market. And now that the new Macs all support USB 3.0, you can seamlessly take it from a Mac to a PC and get that great fast response everywhere. So with that said, make sure you check out the links in the description below, and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.